ashford.com Hello and welcome to ashva.com. You are watching an interesting video on polydactyly and syndactyly, found in humans and cats. Please read the disclaimer carefully. There have always been strange human anomalies, mainly genetic, that pop up all around the world, from conjoined twins, to very tall, or very small people. But the one that has always fascinated me was polydactyly, and syndactyly. These are both congenital defects that affect the finger fingers and toes of humans. In other words, people who are born with extra fingers and or toes. It has also been known to happen in the animal kingdom. Polydactyly affects the fingers and toes, and syndactyly causes the fusing or webbing of the digit. I first started to take notice of this anomaly, when I was reading a novel about Anne Boleyn. Evidently she had polydactyly. It is believed that she had one extra digit on her right hand. Some say, that after she had been beheaded, the executioner reached down and secretly chopped of her hand, and, and put it inside his clothing. After she had been taken away for burial, the hand was hidden and thereafter used for magical purposes. Unfortunately, both of these stories probably come from myths and legends down the ages. In 1876, after an exhumation of Anne Boleyn, they discovered that in fact her whole body was perfectly shaped, and her hands were devoid of any extra digits. She was 5'3 apostrophe tall and very delicately. The most common extra finger is on the side of the hand next to the ulna, or little finger. It is not actually always a real looking finger. Sometimes it is just a small, thin piece of skin tissue, with a fingernail attached. But it has been known to be fully functional, and not only that, it may, j may just be one of several extra fingers. Some of these fingers can be fused all the way up the side of the other nearest finger, or just partially fused. Polydactyly is caused by errors in fetal development. Syndactyly when you get webbed feet or hands, is caused by the fact that, when the baby is in the womb, the skin between toes and fingers that cause it to look webbed, should die away and form perfect toes and fingers, but for some reason this does not happen happen. It is not a problem and just normally runs in families. I have a couple of webbed toes, and so did my mother. Most of these traits are isolated and caused by an autosomal gene. This means it is not sex linked that is male or female. So either your mother or father could could carry it, and if, like me, my mother had webbed feet, then of course so did I. I like to be Sometimes the cause can be a bit more complicated. They can be just one of the abnormalities which occur when a baby is born with other more serious defects. Either mental or physical. Either caused in the womb, medicines that have been taken when pregnant, or toxins in the environment. The more serious causes of polydactyly, can be caused by the following diseases. 1. Ellis van Creveld syndrome also known as chondroectodermal dysplasia. This is an inherited condition caused by defects in two genes known as EVC and IVC2. The strange thing about this is that it is mainly seen within the old order Amish population of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. 2. Rubenstein AB syndrome. This is a rare condition resulting in a defect of a gene that leads to a protein called a Krebs binding protein going wrong. This is known as Krebs. Some people with this condition are actually born without this gene. Anybody born with this condition such and suffer with the following symptoms. Broad thumbs and toes. Short in stature. Distinctive facial features. Mental problems. Trisomy 13, is another factor that can cause polydactyly. 
It is when a person's body has three copies of a genetic material instead of the usual two, from chromosome 13. This is not an inherited disease it is usually caused by something happening in the womb. The DNA from chromosome 13 appears in other parts of the body. This causes the extra material to interfere with normal development. Syndactyly is usually just called webbing of the toes, where the skin is further up the toes joining one or more together. It can vary from a small amount of skin, or can be fused all the way to the top. It is usually inherited, but can be caused by other factors. Sometimes it will be fused by not only the skin, but also by bone. It can be a side effect of cardiac problems when the child is born. But it is mainly just inherited from your parents, in exactly the same way as polydactyl. For, for some strange reason, both of these syndromes have been found in cats. The greatest number of toes on a cat has been 32. This was reported in 1974. The male cat called Mickey Mouse owned by a Mrs. Renee Delgade of Westlake Village, California, was believed to have had something called double paws, where each paw is two, fused mirror image paws. Obviously, a polydactyly cat has many paws, and a syndactyly cat has less paws, as his paws are fused together. Now I bet you never knew that. I know I didn't. Evidently there is a breed of cat called a main cat that is bred to carry on having polydactyly cat. Thank you for watching this interesting and informative video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.